Welcome to the second in our series of tutorials designed to familiarize you with some of DeepFreeze's more important functions. I'm Pharonix Systems Engineer Jason Green, and today's tutorial focuses on the DeepFreeze Enterprise Console. Once you have deployed either the DeepFreeze Workstation install file or the DeepFreeze seed to workstations in your environment, they will report into the DeepFreeze Enterprise Console. The workstations will appear in the Workstation panel and can be sorted by any of the headings. The DeepFreeze Enterprise Console provides a collection of administration and control options that will assist administrators with managing their DeepFreeze workstations. These options are available via icons in the toolbar, as well as by right-clicking on a workstation or group of workstations. The purpose of this tutorial will be to provide you with an overview of the options available. Starting on the left side of the toolbar, the first option is the Restart option, which does what you would assume. It restarts or reboots the selected workstation. This is followed by the Shutdown button, which also does what you would imagine it to do. The third button is the Wake on LAN button, which will wake a workstation from a powered off state, provided that the network and workstation support this functionality. The next group of options provides some of the more important and heavily used functions. The first of these is the Reboot Thawed option. This option allows you to reboot a workstation into a state which will allow software updates, patches, and installations to take place. We actually recommend that unless the task will be performed in front of the workstation itself, you utilize the next option, which is the Reboot Thawed and Locked option. This variation on Reboot Thawed ensures that the keyboard and mouse of the target workstation are disabled, preventing unwanted changes from being made by a user at the workstation itself. The next option is the Reboot Frozen option, which allows you to reboot a workstation back into its protected frozen state following a period of time in a thawed state. Finally, the End Maintenance button allows you to take a workstation out of a maintenance mode that was created via the Embedded Events option during the configuration of a workstation install file. The next options allow you to simply lock and unlock the keyboard and mouse on a workstation. The icon that looks like a human being with a voice bubble provides you the option of sending a message to the selected workstation or group of workstations. The gears icon with the up arrow allows you to update a deep freeze configuration using an RDX file that can be created using the DeepFreeze Configuration Administrator. This provides an option to modify things such as workstation passwords and network configuration settings contained in the original workstation install file. The wrench icon with the up arrow allows you to update embedded events on the workstation, providing an opportunity to modify maintenance windows and shut down, restart, and idle time settings. The next group of options relate to the installation, uninstallation, and upgrade options. The first option is the install option. DeepFreeze can only be installed from the Enterprise Console on a workstation that has the DeepFreeze seed installed on it. Workstations with the seed appear in the console with a folder, red arrow, and computer tower icon beside them. The next option provides a way to upgrade the version of DeepFreeze on a workstation. In order to do this, you will need to have a workstation install file that has been created by a newer version of DeepFreeze, as well as already have upgraded your enterprise console. The next two options provide different ways to uninstall DeepFreeze. The first will uninstall the application but leave the seed installed, which is handy if you may need to reinstall DeepFreeze in the future. And the second option removes DeepFreeze completely. It is important to note that a workstation must be in a thawed state in order for DeepFreeze to be uninstalled. The next icon allows you to view log information for DeepFreeze workstations. The following option allows you to clear the Enterprise Console history, which is handy if a workstation has been removed from the network but still appears in the console. The gears icon with the letter A is another way to launch the Configuration Administrator. The icon with the key provides an area for you to update your DeepFreeze Enterprise license key. This information will be propagated to all workstations reporting into this console. Finally, the last icon is the Console Customizer, which provides you a way to create an Enterprise console that only provides a subset of functionality. 
This option is really handy if you only want some administrators to have access to a few select administrative options. As you can see, the Deep Freeze Enterprise Console provides a significant collection of options that allow administrators to control and administer their Deep Freeze workstations. If desired, more detailed information about the Enterprise Console functionality can be found in the Deep Freeze Enterprise Manual.